The tracks are opened by clicking on the triangle in the track header. The audio wavelines can now be seen. At the same time, you are also given the possibility of regulating the volume and panorama. It is recommended that you activate the peak meter when setting the volume. We click on View, Overlay, and Status. The first orange dot shows the minus 9 dB mark. The yellow dot here in front shows the minus 12 dB mark. In general, the audio level should remain within this range, for then it's within the proper recording levels. The level is shown during scrubbing. The sound on track 1A is too low. To adjust the volume, we first activate the volume checkbox. A right click on the orange line and choose Move All. In this case here, an increase of about 5 dB is enough. For an exact correction, it is sometimes necessary to determine a specific point. For example, let's reduce the background noise surging on track 1VA a bit. To do so, we set three points. With the control key pressed, we pull the middle point downwards. The control key enables fine adjustments and thus permits us to work much more exactly. Another click on volume switches us over into the panorama. In this mode, a blue line is displayed. Everything here works pretty much the same as in volume. The noise should move in accordance to the cars, or from the middle to the left. Once again, we set three points. The middle point is then pulled upwards. Finished. Wer hier